This experience is the reason why I am deathly afraid of intruders breaking into my home. So I was 10 years old at the time, and it was summer break after finishing fifth grade, maybe the second or third week of June. I don't really remember why, but my mom had to go to dinner with some of her coworkers from a daycare she worked at one night. She left my older sister, who was only 12, to watch over me. But my older sister was more there to make sure that the house doesn't burn down rather than watching over me. So that night, my mom left for dinner, and she said she would be right back. I remember I was in the living room when my older sister was upstairs in her room. I was also downstairs with Fenrir, who was a black Newfoundland that I grew up with my entire life. Unfortunately, by the time I was 10, he was showing his age. He couldn't walk, run, or stand up like he used to. We'd usually have to help him get up and walk him outside to the backyard, which had a porch. The porch had a walkway we had built so that Fenrir could walk down easier. We would also have to bring his food and water bottles over to him, as he was always too tired to get up. So I'm watching the TV in the living room with Fenrir, laying down on the side of the couch. Suddenly, I hear this loud growling. I muted the TV, turned around, and saw Fenrir growling and snarling at something. He then started barking at something. I looked over and saw that he was directing his attention at the back door that led to the backyard, but I didn't see anything, as it was pitch black outside. Suddenly, Fenrir just stood up with seemingly little to no effort, and was violently growling, snarling, and barking. Keep in mind, he hasn't been able to get himself up in a while, so just to see him stand up like that like he was young again scared the shit out of me. I used to say that it was like as if Renrir got possessed, and he was still directing his attention to the back door. Before I could react, Fenrir suddenly jogged over to the back door and got up on his hind legs and started scratching on the glass that was on the door, still growling and barking. At first, I thought it was a squirrel probably got up on the porch and came up to the door. But then I remembered that Fenrir wasn't even aggressive towards squirrels. When he would see one when he was younger, he would bark and chase it, yes, but it was more so to scare the squirrel off than actually hurt it. And to add to that, Fenrir was not an aggressive dog. He was always sweet to people and other pets. He was usually calm, so to see him going feral like this actually scared me. He sounded like he wanted to kill something. I finally walked over to the back door that Fenrir was clawing at. I sort of pushed him away, surprised that he didn't snap at me, and I decided to put my face up against the glass to peek out and see if anything was there. But I didn't see anything. All the while, Fenrir was still scratching, growling, barking, and now baring his teeth and drooling to my right. I then walked to the right where there was a light switch that turned on the porch light, and Fenrir went back to his spot, scratching and growling, and whatever he was upset about. Then I flipped on the light switch. And the second that happened, I saw a man dressed in all black, classic burglar outfit, with gloves, a ski mask, and everything. At first, he was seemingly looking into the door, with his face and hands pressed up against it. And when I turned on the light, he got startled and took a few steps back. He then turned over to me, and it was like time froze. We were both just frozen staring at each other for a few seconds. And me, being only 10, and not really knowing what to do, I quickly reached out to the knob on one of the back doors, more specifically, the door that Fenrir was still scratching at, and swung the door open. The guy tried to run, but Fenrir was right on top of him. The guy wasn't able to get off the porch before Fenrir latched onto him. When I say latched on, I mean latched on. Fenrir had first bitten down on the guy's leg, and then moved on and was biting onto the guy's arm. The guy tried to hit Fenrir off of him, but he just wasn't able to. And I was just frozen, staring down at Fenrir really biting down on him. To be honest, I was more scared of my own dog than the guy that was most likely trying to break in, since I've never seen him this aggressive in my entire life. I actually thought that Fenrir was just about to straight up kill this guy. Eventually, the guy screams in agony, which I guess called my sister to run downstairs to see what was going on. I'm not really sure why she didn't come downstairs when Fenrir was growling and barking the first time, but I digress. My older sister was freaking out and eventually called 911. She then told me to go to my bedroom, which was also upstairs, and so I did. I ran up to my bedroom and just stayed there, in shock of what I had just seen and the whole situation in general. A while later, the police and my mom eventually showed up. She burst through my bedroom and gave me basically the tightest bear hug I've ever gotten from her. I remember that she was crying, worried sick that I was hurt. And while I was shaken up, I wasn't physically hurt. At one point, I finally go downstairs and I see my older sister talking to a police officer while Fenrir was lying down next to her with some blood on his face, much like Cujo. I remember thinking, Oh my god, Fenrir just killed somebody. And then I also remembered that when I put my face up against the glass on one of the back doors to see what Fenrir was so pissed off at, I most likely put my face directly where the guy still had his face up against it on the other side. So I made indirect eye contact with this guy before I turned on the lights without even knowing it. However, while the guy lost a lot of blood, 
he didn't die. And to be honest, I don't really know what happened to the guy after, other than he had gotten arrested. My mom was instantly looking into buying a new house and moving, and we all eventually moved when I was maybe 11 or 12. Unfortunately, before that first, I had developed my intense fear of dealing with intruders, so much so that I couldn't look outside windows when it was pitch black outside for a while because I was afraid I was just going to see a face right there. And second, a few months before we moved, we had to put Fenrir down because he was just too old now. Needless to say that 2014 was the year my childhood and innocence died. I'm 18 years old, and I have since been able to look outside when it's dark outside now. While I still am afraid of intruders, it's not really as bad as it used to be. When I move out, I'm definitely getting a big dog of my own. I will forever be thankful for you, Fenrir. Had it not been for you, who knows what the guy could have done to either me or my older sister.